Hey everybody, my name is Katama, welcome back for another video of Lost Judgment. As you can see, we uh, are back exactly where we last left off. We have to redo everything, redo the entire thing right here, boys. Just so uh, we can beat this guy up. The last time he, he went ahead and defeated me pretty much in a tie. And what seems to be a tie right here, what the fuck? This guy literally got me right there. I'm just gonna grab something and throw it at him right there. Come on, Ka uh, Kado, you gotta help me out. There we go. We're gonna activate my special right here. And uh, make sure to do as much damage as possible. Uh, there we go. So I really want to uh, defeat this guy because he, he pissed me off last time, boys. He did, he did so much, like, damage and stuff. Kind of pissed me off when he, be, uh, when he started uh, becoming Super Saiyan and stuff. So this is the second no. round. Buckle We're gonna have boys. to go through the third round as well. The third round is the one that I struggled or I lost against him and stuff. So let's go ahead and redo this shit, buddy. Never gonna lose this bastard. Unbelievable, boys. Let's go. There we go. Got him right there. I can't do EX action either. That's the, uh, the one thing that's preventing me from doing anything uh, or doing a lot of damage to him is the fact that I can't do the uh, EX action. Let's go. Get him right there. We almost got him, boys. We almost got him. Right there. And there we go. Got him again. Now we just got to defeat this guy. And that's done. All right. Let's go to third, uh, the third round, buddy. No, sir. Come on. Let's fucking do this. You ain't got to beat me, buddy. Let's do this shit. Tired of this shit. All right. So now he's super saiyan on his ass. There we go. That's what I like to see. All right, so I can also kick stuff, like kick the environment, as you can see right here. Uh, kick uh, the stuff around, so that's really going to be helpful now. Because that's uh, an ability that I actually uh, got recently. So yeah, I really got to deal with these guys. They've got a lot more health, which is not healthy uh, whatsoever. But uh, I'm going to be able to get them real quick. There we go. EX action on your ass. Get him before he gets me. There we go. That did a lot of damage. I'm gonna continue to attack him with that as much as possible, boys. There we go. EX action on his ass as well. There we go. I'm not gonna let up, boys. I'm not gonna let up uh, on the other ass. Let's go. Oh shit. He actually do, uh, did a, a leg swoop and, and everything. Oh shit. Really? Okay. All right. That, that's fine, boy. Uh, Dan. Let me uh, try and grab him. Okay, so EX action again. Make sure that uh, I use as many weapons as possible, uh, boys. I'm not messing around this time. I know what they're capable of. Oh, shit. Watch out now. I got to really defeat them. Come on now. There we go. Equip the special bonus and everything. And get him right there. Come on. EX action. Okay, let me do the uh, EX action. They, they won't let me do it. Okay. That's interesting. Didn't have the options right there. Now I understand why you wanted Kaito on your side. Still got anything you want to say, Akutsu? I can appreciate your perspective on this, Kaito. In that case, you better leave us the hell alone. Yeah, we can do that. We get it. It's fine. Right, Akutsu? Why are you here? Aren't you busy? Just checking in. You made quite a mess here. The arcade leader, Kazuki Soma, okay. Talk meets a new Soma. player in town. He's the leader of the arcade. Yeah, I kind of figured. You keep saying we, but I don't think you know what's going on. You just gonna waltz in here and bark orders? Kaito-san turned down your offer, didn't he? And the other guy is Yagami from his own detective agency. Before that, he was an accomplished lawyer. Now he's with Kaito-san independently. It's my job to be running HQ, though. You shouldn't roll up unannounced. I'm supposed to leave you to your own devices? I do have to check in, at least to show my face. <laughs> Got a cold? It's a dust allergy, actually. Tough thing to live with. And I used to catch hell for it in the Yakuza. Quit that infernal sniffling, they'd say. <laughs> yeah, that couldn't have been easy, man. 
I bet they would beat the shit out of you if you didn't blow your nose. <laughs> you know it. I do wish we'd have the time to work together, Kaito-san. You as well, Yagami-san. It may feel like we're a small-time outfit in the immediate term, but RK will grow. We'll show you. But in the meantime, we'll leave the two of you be. Does that work? Finally, some sense. <laughs> Best of luck with the growth. As the leader here, you need brains and brawn. Something else? Your gang was out there searching for some guy in a picture. Well, how'd that hunt end up turning out? He was some kind of girls bar manager, wasn't he? It sounded like he'd disappeared from Kamarachu more than a few years back. You have any luck tracking him down? Ah, uh, we actually found that he's unfortunately dead. Likely murdered. Considering Kamarocho's reputation and the nature of his profession, I can't say I'm all that surprised. <sighs> Got it. I guess I was just kind of curious. Always happy to oblige a detective. These guys are weird case, boys. Kind of sounds nuts a little bit. Sniffing, uh, sniffing every five seconds speed. or something. Yeah. Kind of what weird guy. I don't know. Who spearheaded the campaign to scoop up all the ex Tojo? Turns out he's teaching the next generation of thugs about protection money, loan sharking, mugging. He's like an unemployment agency for shitheads. They've got 50 full-time bodies so far, but if you include part-timers and other associates. They may be well over 2,000 strong. That's a lot. Even half that's a lot. The Yakuza left behind a gaping power vacuum in this town. Even if it wasn't RK, someone else would have swooped in. So much for peace and quiet in Kamarocho, huh? Yeah, I guess our town uh, got busy Sorry, while we were away. Hello? Not good at all, yes, boys. Sir. Sorry for the wait. I found our file on Ahara's victim. Ah, oh, Mamiya-san, right? Yui Mamiya? Yes. She lives with her family in East Ikebukuro. I'm about to make a quick house call. Awesome. Then I'll be right over. Good. See you sooner than later, I hope. I caught all that. You go on ahead, Doc. This one's outside my area of expertise. Okay. I'll head back to the office when I'm done. It seems like everything's outside of your expertise, Kai Kaido. There aren't much help anyways. You never do anything aside from that one place, that bar where you actually helped me out fight a, a bit of a goons uh, here and there. Actually didn't me, uh, help me out at all. So we gotta run all the way there. I'm guessing we're gonna head out to the Genda Law Office and afterwards we're heading out towards the uh, the uh, house, the, the, the girl's house or the woman's house. Uh, uh, she used to be the, she's the one that uh, was the victim to uh, Erara for the groping and everything. So it's gonna be interesting if we can find some uh, some clues by asking her some uh, some questions here and there. That would be very helpful. Hopefully, she's gonna be able to help oh, us out. Perfect timing, Yagami-san. And here I was about to go without you. Are you ready to visit Mamiya-san? Yeah, of course. I'm always ready. Time to head off to the home of Erada's victim, who doesn't know we're dropping by. It's a surprise visit, boys. What do you know? Obviously, we're doing this so she doesn't uh, she doesn't get convinced by anybody else to not talk, you know. So let's do this shit. Let's talk to her. Remember, we're speaking to a victim here, Yagami-san. One whose assailant we defended in court. If we had tried to make an appointment, she probably would have declined outright. Hmm. Not sure showing up unannounced is much better. But let's just hope she's willing to talk. <sighs> yes. There's no way around it. It's a risk we had to take. Well, here goes nothing. I'm Shirasaki from the Genda Law Office. 
the attorney for Mr. Akihiro Ehara. You may remember me from the hearings. Why are you here? Don't you know it's rude to show up at someone's door uninvited? I understand, but we have a pressing matter that directly concerns you. If we could do this another way, we would. I apologize for any inconvenience. I'm sorry, but the trial's over and done with. You know I can legally turn you away. You're right, but I'm only asking a moment of your time. Please, would you mind? Even Saori's couldn't wh uh, whip it up a solid approach for this. Are we uh, really out of luck here? Well, I don't know. Seems like she's in defense. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Wait, 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 before you do that. Sorry to butt in. I'm Yagami, a detective helping Saori here out. And? I can't let be, uh, this be the end. Yeah, I need to talk to her in this, uh, into opening this door somehow. Yeah, I need to figure out uh, how to uh, make her to open the door. So sweet talker, make it sound quick and simple and Emp empathize with her. I'm not gonna empathize with her. Uh, sweet talker, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, make it sound quick and simple. I know in your eyes, we're just scumbag lawyers defending perverts in court. It was just a paycheck to them, you're thinking. And yes, why should you care? Wow, it's like you read my mind. If you're so perceptive, shouldn't you know it's time to leave? Wait, that's not what I meant at all. Look, that was just an opener. What do I do? We have nothing to work with if we can't get her to talk. But I guess making it sound quick and simple is not going to work. Uh, I guess... I don't want to empathize with her though. I guess that's the way to go. Are you aware of the trending video that's leading people to believe Ahara committed murder? Thing is, the victim was confirmed to be alive in Yokohama until the morning of your own incident. And since Ahara was on the train with you, they're ruling him out as a murder suspect. What is it you're getting at? I'm just trying to ensure you're in the clear from any of that unfortunate business. If we could do this now, we'd never bother you again. All we need is 10 minutes of your time. How absurd. We're only trying to help. But if later would work better for you, we could always come back another time. With our supervisor, of course. That visit would probably be more formal. There'd be paperwork, audio tapes, you know the drill. You'll want to clear your schedule. I really don't have time for any of that. No, I understand, and it's entirely our fault. We thought we'd do this casually, but we really should have been more by the book. But it is a murder case, so we do have to make sure our paperwork is in order here. Now, would you prefer to schedule a date to accommodate a more formal interview? Uh, you said ten minutes if we do it now, right? I'll make it as painless as possible. All right. Hold on. We really do appreciate it. All right, then. Well, Easy I'm enough. Impressed. I'm also not sure I should trust a word you say ever again. Really? <laughs> I did get us in the door, didn't I? I'm joking. I do appreciate the help. Yeah, whatever, it's Sari. Now let's not screw this up. This is likely the only conversation we'll have with Mamiya-san. I already screwed it up via the phone or whatever, the intercom. So Hello. what the fuck am I gonna do now? So that's the little kid. Hi there. Hi. Again, we apologize for the intrusion. Let's just get this over with already. There's the victim, boys. Let's find out if she okay, truly bye -bye. is a victim. First off, she's we'll not an actress. Way. She didn't get paid. Anything that could have happened, boys, I don't know. Because uh, we never know, right? So we could use a conversation opener. Let's talk a quick look around for something useful. Yeah, maybe we can get some clues first. So there's obviously this. Child's drawing. So that's going to be helpful. Take note of uh, her lifestyle. So her lifestyle, we've got... Obviously, we got all the pictures around, so... Uh, lives here with her husband and son. They seem pretty happy in this picture. Well, I don't know about the husband. He might be dead or something. If she's all alone right now, her husband should be here. All right, so let's try and find out anything particular. Observe the room, huh? 
anything that I could find more right here. Oh, there's a bike. Children's bicycle. Obviously, that belongs to the boy we just met. Seems like that's all there is to it. If we take a look around right here. This is like playing Eleanor all over again, boys. Just looking around before uh, asking questions. Quite the layout they've got here. The kitchen has a clear view of the living room. Okay. Suspicious. What about uh, the this, the pans? This place is so clean, even without expecting guests. I'd have to do the same to my office. No, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weirding me out the fact that it's so clean, boys. What the? Okay, there's the laptop. Useful data, but we're obviously not getting it. Why? We can't. I don't know. I'm a detective. I could literally do whatever. What about the boy? Uh, I guess he just started grade school. Okay. What, the what about anything heck? else? Oh, what about her? Uh, experienced lawyer. Yeah. What okay. The? Let me hey. look. Maybe we can look into her eyes. Okay. Oh, there we go. So that's what we needed to do. Just Suspicious. look into her eyes. And we got the, the little toy right here. Okay. Let's go ahead and talk to her. So, talk. I've already told the police and the court everything they could want to know about that morning. I'm sorry to put you through this again, but would you mind going over those details with us? What else is left to discuss? I understand how pressured you might feel. I've gone over this so many times. I wonder if pressing charges was even worth it. No, what you did was both brave and inspirational. Many victims are afraid to come forward for any number of reasons. Your voice might give them courage to find their own. Ironic. Hearing this from that predator's defense team. Well, perhaps. Would you mind walking us through that day from the beginning? It's nothing so mysterious. I was just on my way to work when some man grabbed my butt. That's all it was. Nothing else was out of the ordinary that day? Correct. Not to pry, but... Where is your husband today? Still at work? He usually doesn't get home until later. On that note, I have to feed my son, so let's get this wrapped up soon. And you're gonna have to be, uh, you're gonna have to be, uh, gentle Moving with us, man. Train Patient a little bit. Correct? Had you ever seen the man before then? No. At least not that I can recall. How many times must I go over this? layer friend here already knows everything i have to say i don't care about my lawyer friend you're going to you're going to tell me what i want you to That's tell me yagami-san here is a specialist he can take whatever you repeat analyze it and draw up an entirely new conclusion right of course that's exactly why i'm here right now the pressure is really on seems to be recurring uh thing lately yeah i mean i am a detective i'm here for that my girl so look, you better tell me the truth the right now. As you, stepped on the train. you don't want to be in trouble yourself. Like right behind you. Were you aware of his presence at this point? I was. It felt like someone kept pushing up against me with no sense of personal boundaries. I remember second guessing myself at the time, thinking it was normal for. The well, train obviously it's out. normal. You're in goddamn metro, and how look how many people there are in that goddamn train. Yes. And then I felt the back of his hand against me. It kept getting worse from there. To the point where he went under my skirt. And the pig had the nerve to write it off as an accidental brush on a crowded train. But that kind of touch wasn't accidental. He even grabbed at me. Truly awful. And I do sympathize. I've also had to turn in an abuser like that. Personally speaking, some men can't wait to debase themselves at the first opportunity. Why would you say that and look at me? Yeah. What are you looking at me I for? There, frozen. I couldn't see who was touching me. I had no idea what to do. I wanted to scream. But what if he just played it off? So I decided I would bear it till the next station. Are you okay, Mommy? I'm fine, sweetie. We're just having a bit of a grown-up talk. Are you hungry? Uh-huh. Then go read your book and wait over there for mommy. We're almost done. So this is going to be the ending soon no matter what. I should keep my questions brief. 
Up to now, I haven't heard any contradictions between our account and the security footage. The I'm telling you, there's a play here. She got... There's no way Irara, like, did both of these things uh, just on purpose. He's not the Joker. Uh, it's not... There's no way, so... Something's up here. But just as the train was pulling into Shinjuku, I reached back and grabbed the hand on me. That's when I saw his face. Of course, he shook me off as the doors opened, but I'd already gotten a clear look at him. He must have known I could turn him in at that point. So he ran, and I chased after. Right. That was captured by the station's security cameras. Great job tailing him in such a crowded space. On that note, did you ever happen to lose sight of Ahara-san while running? This cat was pretty easy to spot, and no one else was bolting off the platform like that, so I, I never lost sight of him. At that point, I could feel my voice returning, so I just screamed, that man grabbed me! I'm glad there were good Samaritans nearby. For sure. And there were a lot of smart ones out, so I figured there was no way for him to get away with it. I was so relieved. I see. I think I've got the gist of it. But now we've got a piece of evidence that contradicts what you've told us. What do you mean? See, there is a blind spot in the camera footage that we can't figure out what happened there. Uh, there is suspicion, a reason to believe that uh, somebody else replaced him. So, security footage. How about the blind spot? There we go. Overview, overhead view of the station platform. There's a blind spot over there. There's something going on here, my girl. You're not telling me any everything. Despite what we just went over, wouldn't you say this contradicts your account of the incident? I'm not sure what you mean. Did I say something odd? No, Yagami-san is currently the odd one here. What? Oh, shoot. Yeah, that wasn't what I had in mind at all. The fuck do you mean that wasn't what I had in you mind? Allow me to rephrase. Story lines up with her testimony from there is one thing that it contradicts. It's not that? The fuck do you mean it's not the blind spot? Um what? Well, what does it contradict then? I don't understand, boys. Train car now I'm uh, now I'm retarded. Not now I don't understand boys. I really don't. What about uh, the security footage? This one? I, I don't understand, boys. Despite what could it be? Anything else? I'm no. Okay, so it's not this one. Okay, boys. But I'm not sure what to uh, like. I'm not sure what to. I uh, what to sure. The fuck, boys! I don't understand right here. I really don't. You know what? Maybe it's the murder footage. I don't know. On the same day. Okay, so it is that one. Obama. What the hell? Why would I? That makes no goddamn sense. We think the blind spot is the thing. I, I don't know, boys. Only to be found dead much later in Ichincho. Is that? According to the video, the Harasan here is the murderer. What? He killed Mikoshiba in cold blood to get vengeance for his bullied son. His kid was about to graduate high school, but instead he took his own life. So Ahara took it upon himself to punish his son's tormentor. That's awful. But now we come back to the issue here. If this footage is authentic, then Ahara-san couldn't have been your assailant. The victim's estimated time of death and Ahara-san's time of arrival in Tokyo simply don't allow for it. It's just not possible for someone to make that commute. <sighs> but there's the flip side. If Ahara-san was in fact your assailant, it would mean this murder footage is a fabrication. I don't know what you expect me to say after all this. Right? I want you to tell I me if you got paid or not. That's why we came to see if you had any leads for us. So that's what this is about. After hearing your story, I have no doubt you endured a lot that day. Which would obviously mean that murder video was faked. Then... Who shared that video? And why? Wish I knew. Based on the quality, something this convincing would need quite a budget. 
Whether it's CG on top of real murder footage or just a rock-solid AI creation, no way it was cheap. So why go through all this effort to fake a murder? Who would benefit from it? But I have to say, I feel much closer to piecing this puzzle together with your help today. Thank you very much for your time. Yes, and rest assured, this will be the last time you see us. Our apologies for the unexpected visit. And for dredging up unpleasant memories. It's fine. So long as this is really the end of it all. There's still something that bothers me, so... I guess now she's not part of it. I or guess we got our answer from that. She's okay in our book, I, I guess. You to be there? Sure. Still, I still think there's up. someone that paid an actor right. or something. That murder footage, sure, it might be a deep fake, but it looks real to me. I don't think it's a deep fake, boys. Now we're yeah, going the deep fake route, though. I, I don't know hey, why. I just got back to it's kind of weird to do that. Any news? I feel like it's much simple oh, and clear, like What's with you? and and, uh, and smart to go for the. Something? The simplest I mean, uh, solution, which is just the girl got that. paid to say uh, that good, she got groped or something. Anyway, um, did a lot of other acting like with a body or double or something like that. It's a lot the simpler ball. than just me, the whole I'm deep going. fake on the internet. I don't know. You do that. All right, well, we got to head out over here. We're heading out to the again the office. Okay, so talk to Sari and the others. That's our first mission right here. Let's go ahead and do just that, I guess. We don't have anything else to do. Not really doing any side quests anymore, boys. Kind of done with those. I kind of want to finish the game now because it is getting pretty long as a game itself. Okay, I need to finish it uh, at some point. Are we ready, Yagami-san? Let's start with our visit to Mamiya-san. If that sounds reasonable to you. Uh, let's start there. Yeah, let's start there. I'm getting a so lot of points the from these story is that I don't really need to use as much. Huh? I don't know why, like, That's correct. I don't know when it, it's going to really become useful aside from, like, maybe side quests to case, use those points, to be honest. Should we look into the murder video instead? Like, figure out how they made it? Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Whether that tape's fake or real, someone had to put it online, right? Do we have any theories on who that might be? Well, the footage showed enough of the surroundings to make the crime scene clear. As somebody who's been there, I can confirm that the blood splotches match what you see in the footage. Which means... Who uploaded the Erara's murder footage from the internet? Well, we're about to find out. Era posted the video himself. Accomplice, uh, accomplices posted it. Per persecutor posted the video. The Kanawaga detectives posted it. Mm, I don't think it's them. I think it's his accomplices. The murderers. We did get jumped by the them, after all. For it. Yeah, I can't see it any other way. I also agree with Yagami-san. But in that case, what would their motive be? Maybe they wanted to make a mockery of the police, or even the whole system. Hmm? Huh? We know Ihara got himself convicted for groping, so he'd have an alibi for Mikoshiba's killing. But then, his conspirators turned it around by uploading the murder video online. Almost as if to say, look how he got away with it. I see. Yeah, that does make it sound like he's taunting them. That's well and good, but I'd like to shift gears. Let's talk about the actual fabrication of the video. How does one go about that? Well, for example, the true culprit would be taped murdering Mikoshiba. Then Ihara's face would be copied and blended onto the killers. That's how they'd approach it in a Hollywood movie. But then... Wouldn't you be able to see traces of it being faked? Tsukumo-san reported that he's found nothing of the sort in his analysis. We've been down this road before. If we take the stance that the footage is fabricated, we have absolutely nothing to work with. Then let's tackle this from the stance that the video is actually real. Yeah, the video is real. The case, 
There it's got to be. be. It's not a deep focus. fake. I don't know why we think even we think that it would be. Find it too. Before meeting with Huey Mamiya, didn't you mention the possibility of Ahara using a stand-in? Yeah. Perhaps it could have been a, a stand-in. Shiba in Ijincho, then swapped places with the imposter so he could be detained. But we couldn't find an opportunity for the swap to happen, remember? From the moment he set foot on the Ikebukuro platform, Ihara was constantly on camera. No, he wasn't. Wait. The blind spot, my guy. Accurate, is it? Huh? You already forgot about that. What, you stupid? Wasn't constantly a, cam a camera, there's a blind spot. My guy, right here. Remember how we mocked up a diagram of the Shinjuku station platform? Yeah. Oh, wait, that's it. You could be onto something. There's a point where Ahara wasn't on camera at all. Of course, that's the point, the point where they switched that. off. Let's all go over the diagram so that everything will be clear. Here's what I want you to see. <clears throat> okay. Hey. Well, we've got this. All right, he got seen. So he got seen. This is where he what grabbed the, uh, the lady. What the? There's the escape path. Blind spot. We don't know what happened. So uh, over there. So we don't know if they switched off or anything. Hey. And that's where it got caught. All right. It's as simple as that. So there's the overview. Anything else that we need to look at? Oh, examine. There it is. How about over there? That's the blind spot right there. So that's the one. It's very brief. But there's a moment where Ihara and Mamiya-san can't be seen by the security cameras. The dotted lines on the arrow represent the camera's blind spot. It does appear so. So you're saying this is where the groper, the fake Ihara, traded places with the real one? Can't say it's impossible, right? Right. Except if that actually happened, Mamiya-san would have been right behind them at the time. Could the two really swap places without her noticing? In a crowd like that, I think it's feasible. Really was Ihara's plan, then I'd say he was being careless. Careless? How? Well, on the day of the incident, the station was packed for morning rush hour. That means there was no solid guarantee the assailant could make the switch. He could have been nailed by any random passerby before reaching the blind spot. Good point. Not only that, if Mamiya-san had called for help while the train was still moving, then the first Ihara would have been caught before even reaching the platform. Oh. I mean, yeah, called it. Think about it, Yagami-san. Why would Ahara's accomplices meticulously plan out every last detail of this alibi, only to leave such a crucial component to chance, as Hoshino-kun pointed out? Oh, just doing my job. True. Good work, Hoshino-kun. In fact, I think that may back up my own take on it. Yeah? What if everything, including the appearance of leaving the plan to chance, was part of the plan? Can you expound on that? I'm saying I agree that such an airtight alibi wouldn't have allowed for contingencies. And that takes the question to another level. Just how far did they line up the pieces in advance to make the swap work? Are you saying there's more to it than we discussed? What did we miss? Alright, so if everything on the day of the murder, including the train groping, was planned from the start to finish, what else can we possibly deduce? Yeah, uh, yeah. That's a long take though, that's a really long take, but uh, taking him for a genius, I don't know boys, I don't think Hirara is a genius, but I do think he planned out in advance everything. So it uh, doesn't take a, a mild brain, doesn't take a big brain to to figure these things out. Alright, so Hiro Mikoshiba is still alive? Oh shit. Well, I doubt that's really the case, the real murder took place in Kamarucho. Persecution faked the footage. Uh, you was colli uh, colluding with Ira. That's what I've been saying from the beginning. She's working with him. She clearly is on the work. She's being paid or something. There's something going uh, amiss right here. That's the simplest solution. Uh, this won't go over well. But what if Mamiya was colluding with Ahara all along? Huh? Bear with me. Let's say Mamiya was in on this and knew about the imposter in advance. If that's the case, the swap could happen right in front of her and no one but the three of them would know. You're saying the victim of a groping conspired with her assailant beforehand? That's ridiculous! It's not ridiculous! 
it's definitely possible. It's not a suggestion I'm fond of, but I, I have to consider the possibility of her playing a part of this conspiracy. She could literally be have been paid to act uh, as if she was groped uh, menacingly and stuff like that. It's clearly a possibility. You can't like get rid of all possibilities. You gotta get this say, one in I'm mind. I'm only trying to work out how a swap like that would be guaranteed to work. Now, if Ahara and his stand-in both know that Mamiya will pretend not to have seen them, they can trade places in the blind spot with impunity. Conversely, if Mamiya wasn't in on the plan, the idea of a swap would never work. We can say with certainty that she would have seen the swap, so... She so she must be an in, in on it. Real Ahara the moment he stepped Is in. that simple? That way, the people around her would be focused on chasing the correct assailant. The rest is as we know it. They caught Ihara and detained him until the police showed up. Hold that thought. If your theory is accurate, what about Ihara's trace evidence? Remember that fibers of the victim's underwear were detected on his hand. Well, that can also be explained by Mamiya being in on the plan. Obviously, she's being in on the plan. For example, so it all makes sense. Was showing himself at the security cameras. Mamiya could have easily provided Ihara access to a pair of underwear at the same time. Maybe the stand-in loitered around for so long because he was letting everyone else get themselves in place. Lots of acting. A lot of people. Work out the other She's working later. for him, but and a lot more people are working for him as well. Shot if Mamiya was involved. In summary, it's possible that Hara disgraced himself to secure an unshakable alibi for Mikushiba's murder. I'll concede that it's an avenue worth pursuing. And when it comes to the prosecution, they can't just admit they got the first case so wrong. Plus, they can't question Ahara about Mikushiba's murder. In fact, their only option is to claim the tape was faked. So he managed to make a farce out of the system after all. Well, his court case for his son's bullying did get more or less thrown out, didn't it? The school, the investigative committee, and the court all agreed. There wasn't enough evidence to convict anyone. No surprise for me that the guy held a grudge against the system for so long. Hold on. Before we all decide on this. What's up? The obvious question to me is why would Mamiya be party to such a crime? She appears more than financially stable. And she's even raising a child. Are you sure about so that? why would she do something so enormously risky as helping establish a murder alibi? She yeah, doesn't live in the house. She lives in an apartment. That doesn't Maybe sound she like she has a lot of money, my girl. I'm just saying. Or maybe Ahara has some kind of dirt on her, even? Enough to make her help with a murder? What sort of secret would be big enough to force someone into that corner? Yeah, maybe she did get convinced by uh, some sort of bribery or something. A 50-year-old patrolman and married office worker and mother. The only connection between them so far is the train station itself. Unless they're onto each other. They have like a love relationship affair or something. Strange affair, boys. You never know. Lots what of stuff happening right here. Anyway. It's very Maybe convoluted, though. Connection to Ahara through her profile. I'll pull her information. Just a second. Oh, I just thought of something else. Those two would have guaranteed by working together. What's that? If Ahara wanted to use this crime as a murder alibi, he needed it to blow up into the public eye. But. If he had chosen a victim who stayed silent, then nothing would have come of it. A solid plan would need to eliminate that variable. Which means Mamiya being an accomplice was crucial to Ahara's success. Obviously, because she kept silent. True. Looks like Ahara pulled one over on the prosecution. Had his accomplices right where he wanted them, even his victims. Once we learn how he's connected to Mamiya, we can root out the rest of his team. Let's see. According to her file, her maiden name is Yui Suzuki. 30 years old, so that's consistent. Originally from Ota, Tokyo. Attended a private high school called Kurakawa Academy. Later graduated from Toto University. Huh. Met her husband on the job, apparently. Her husband, Taichi Mamiya, is an industrial designer at Techno Zeta Inc. Six years ago, she gave birth to their only son, Sotakun who's now in first grade. 
Hold on. You said she went to Kurakawa Academy? I heard that name in Ijincho. If I recall correctly... Wasn't, uh, wasn't I just at, at that school? Isn't that uh, where uh, Tsukumo graduated? Or some, uh, someone spying on me uh, went there? No, I think that's where Tsukumo graduated. I think that's the main uh, course of uh, going, boys. That's where we're gonna go that's with not where this. Tsukumo went, was it? Before, you know, closing himself off to the world? Nah, Tsukumo san studied remotely. He told me that when we were out having drinks one night. Wait, Tsukumo went out drinking with you? Yeah, we had fun. What did you guys even talk about? Hey, why am I getting grilled all of a sudden? I agree. This is nowhere near relevant. Oh. Alright, so we gotta figure something else. It's not that. Some Someone spying on me went there. Uh, wasn't I just at that school? I think uh, someone spying me uh, on me went there. No, you know what? I was at that school, wasn't I? Didn't I just go there to investigate a bully? Or am I losing it? That's a real high. That's oh, of course. I'm stupid. I am losing it. All right, so it's just someone spying on me that uh, has been there, I guess. When I went to scope out the murder scene, there were these three guys watching the detectives and me. They told us they were just checking things out. They mentioned they're Kurakawa grads too. You have any ID on you? These uh, guys. My license work? Wait a minute. Age 30. No shot. Akaike san. Age 30. Mommy is 30 as well. What's that got to do with anything? Aren't we trying to find a connection between Mamiya and Ohara? We've got a connection. The goddamn school. Looks like they're pretty prestigious. It's in Tokyo, specifically in Ota. Pretty close to where Mamiya lived. No. Oh. What? The girls there get such cute uniforms. Okay, my guy. Come on yeah, now. Little. You want to start all over from the bar exam? Wait. I've seen that uniform before too, actually. Where? On an old picture of a teacher at Serio High. Sawa Sensei. Nahara's son confided in. Well, shit. She actually a Kurakawa grad too. She's in with Sarah as Sawa well. She exact. she knows Sawa. She okay, they all, all know each other, presence. boys. Of course. Could this mean they're actually linked? The victim and her up to now unrelated assailant. It's a tenuous link at best. Could fall apart any time. But no true detective alive would pass it up. Well, now it's getting interesting. Now we've got multiple options, multiple people working together on this. Uh, multiple suspects, boys. So Sawa is Previously even a suspect in now. Interesting. Established between the groper and the victim. Charting out their relationship is akin to tracing a spider's web. But with each false thread ruled out, only the improbable truth remains. Ehara orchestrated the groping as a diversion. And by tarnishing his name, he secures both an alibi and his ultimate revenge. One thing it still doesn't make sense as we enter chapter 6 is the fact that he like uh, showed himself on footage. He got a footage of himself killing Mikoshiba, which is kind of weird. That, why would he do that if he tried to go and get away? That's the one thing that still doesn't Hiro make Mikoshiba's too much sense. murder was sparked by the bullying of Toshiro Ehara, who committed suicide four years ago. The graphic video that hit the net showed the world how Toshiro's father, Akihiro Ehara, had brutally avenged his son. We also know the father had accomplices. On October 7th at 6.30 a.m., they forced Mikoshiba into a vehicle took him to an abandoned building and gravely injured him. And that's then, gotta be the guys that we video, saw from the, the building with the cops and everything. That's gotta be the guys that uh, nearby, were with the mask right there as well. The camera. At the same time, 30 kilometers away at Ikebukuro Station, a man who looks like Ehara is caught on camera. We'll call that guy the stand-in. 
the stand-in made sure he was in front of the cameras for more than an hour before boarding the 9.06 a.m. train, the same one Yui Mame was on. After committing sexual battery on that train, he meets the real Ahara in the camera's blind spot, and they change places. That's how he established a false alibi for Mitoshiba's murder. And to achieve this, the victim, Yui Mamiya, had to have been in on it from the start. Hmm. Sure are a lot of people getting their hands dirty for Ahara. Well, he's got something Mamiya. on them. Ahara's standing something on the to train. convince them the to do that. Mikoshiba. What it is, I don't know. troubled cop managed to recruit so many allies? Well, one person that comes to mind who might be the key to all this is Yoko Sawa. She's a teacher at Serio High. Yeah, she's got a connection to she all of them. She was the only adult Toshiro-kun ever told about the bullying. And she supervised Mikoshiba as a teacher before he disappeared. On top of that, she's a Kurokawa Academy graduate, same as Mamiya. Maybe they're friends. Those trespassers at the murder scene. So clearly a connection the right there. Since they're all about the same age, it's possible they were all classmates. So you're saying these classmates are also Uhara's murder accomplices? They could the all be in it, Yoko yeah. Sawa, the central link. That's very possible. We do know that as a teacher, she felt deep remorse for Toshio Kun's suicide. Maybe she recruited her old classmates to help Ahara take his revenge. Yeah, best not to rule that out. Though I'm hoping that's not the case. Why is that? It's just, she's a really good teacher. She ain't she's shit. Responsible. She's always putting the students first. I know she regrets the past. And a student died on her watch. And now another of her students, Mikushiba, is found murdered. So if it turns out she's involved in that, I doubt I'll be able to trust my own judge of character ever again. Yagami. I'm going back to Ejincho tomorrow. The plan is to bring up Mamiya's name to Sawa-sensei and see how she reacts. Until then, let's not jump to conclusions about her involvement. All right. Uh, can I chime in real quick? I was looking into Kurokawa Academy, and I stumbled across something that may be relevant. What's that? Well, it happened 13 years ago, but there was an attempted suicide. Who, uh, who's Bart? The school's roof after being thoroughly humiliated. A bullying suicide from 13 years ago? Then Sawa mentioned that too. She did. That gets it. It's getting interesting, boys. If I remember correctly, the student lived. But remains in the coma to this day. Actually, Sawa Sensei mentioned that. She said it was a boy in her class. Right, that's got to be the same case then. The student's name was Mitsuru Kuzumoto. He's 30 now, but still in a coma. Huh, and all that info's on the net? It wouldn't be normally, but his mother happens to be vice minister of the Ministry of Health. Ever heard the name Reiko Kusamoto? Not once. I have. It was on the news. They were talking about her and her son. Vice Minister's rank above most government officials. So this lady has quite a position of power at the Ministry of Health. Could be. Could well, be I have a lot of power. Maybe she's into it as well. Vice Minister Ichinose got arrested? Apparently his successor couldn't contain the resulting chaos. Which is when Kusumoto-san got tapped to lead. They couldn't afford another criminal scandal, so her promotion was out of the blue. She was a safe choice, a veteran with tenure and experience. Not to mention, her son's tragedy made people see her as a more sympathetic figure. Very popular. She's kind of a new generation heroine, so to speak. Huh. Is any of that relevant to the case at hand, though? Yeah, how is that relevant? Who knows? But Reiko Kusumoto and Ahara both have children who were bullying victims. I don't think that's a connection we can afford to overlook, if you ask me. That might okay, be so, so but I don't Kusumoto's think we're going to go there just yet. What exactly happened to him? Let's see. He was bullied by a fellow third year at his school, Shinya Kawai. The records say he harassed Mitsuru-kun every day, in and out of school. Well, one time he even stuffed dirty rags in his mouth. That's so cruel. Yeah, and the teacher was a real piece of work. 
Apparently he knew, but he just smirked and said, don't overdo it. Oh, I remember now. The media pounced on that one hard. If they were classmates, then both Sawa-sensei and Mamiya would know about this. And maybe because they couldn't save Mitsuru-kun, their guilt left them open to Ahara's persuasion. But to prove that, we'll have to hear from them directly. I'll talk to Sawa-sensei first thing tomorrow. That'd be helpful. In the meantime, I'll be working on Ahara's appeal. It's clear they missed something important in the trial, since Ahara is apparently innocent of sexual battery. Being that he was out committing murder at the time. What started as a simple harassment case sure has blown up big. Well, shit, boys. Lots of things happen. Guess I'll head back to the office for today. Lots of things happen today. Holy shit, we did a lot. And uh, we ended up uh, getting uh, two, uh, five head on this uh, on this case. Holy. I'll, I'll just take a taxi straight up right here. I've got some skills. I got 6,000 points. Kind of want to use it on the crane style. Let's, uh, let's do that EX finishing blow, the crane. Let's do that one. Let's, uh, let's buy this one right there, boys. All right, so that's perfect as it is. And uh, also, so we got to hit the couch, basically. So we got to sleep it off. Uh, we're going to sleep it off. And also, in the meantime, uh, end the video, boys. So we're going to do that in the next video. Uh, sleep it off, that is. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.